UMass Boston women's tennis in the first round of the NCAA tournament. Their first time in the tournament in program history after earlier this year winning their first LEC title in program history this past fall. And early on, it would be the Chargers who took control of this one as the number three doubles between Leah Vasilides alongside Shreya Saravana, they would fall 8-2 to two to Lily Tria and May Janest. And then Lydia Chen and Skylar Robles. What a great performance from them. Trailing in that one 3 0 and 4 to 1. Chen and Robles are able to come back against Elise Hogan and Amelia Campanella. They end up actually winning this one 8 to 7. They go to a tiebreaker and win 7 to 5, as you see right there. And another tiebreaker match would take place on court number one in the number one doubles as Elena Albano and Ayana Stupert battle Grace Carpenter and Emily Hill tooth and nail this one Albano and Stupert led five to two but then Carpenter and Hill come back and win seven to three in the tiebreaker set so two to one Colby Sawyer heading into the singles Lydia Chan would have a tough matchup against Grace Carpenter And that would be one that was down to the wire. Elena Albano would take on Emily Hill in the number two singles. Another one that would actually go three sets as well. Shereya on court number six would end up beating May Jeunesse six to two and six four. So the freshman who just came on this spring gets a big singles win in the NCAA tournament to get the Beacons on the scoreboard. At that point though, They had already suffered two other losses on the other court, which you'll see shortly. As you see here, Sarah Vaughn is serving it up to Jeunesse for the win right here, playing it beautifully over the net, back and forth between the two sides, and then is going to end up finishing it off right here. And you see the two players shaking hands at midcourt. At this point, the Beacons were just staying alive, but you're going to see Skylar Robles. She was battling through an injury in this one, and she played hard until the very end. She was taking on Mary Toms in the number five singles. Now, Toms would beat her 6-3 to three and 6-0, oh, but a great performance by Robles nonetheless, battling through what she had to battle through to help her team out today. As you mentioned, winning that number two doubles with Lydia Chan in tiebreaker fashion coming back from down four to one. So a tremendous performance from her as she would fall in that one. But on the number four singles court as well, Vasilides was taking on Tria a rematch of the number three doubles. And in that one, it would be Tria coming out on top six, one, six, two. So at this point in the match, Colby Sawyer within one win of moving on in the NCAA AA tournament and eliminating UMass Boston. But UMass Boston would fight tooth and nail to the very end. Albano against Hill wins 6-3, loses 6-4 in set two, would lead 4-2 in the third set, while Stupert, on the other hand, would come back from a 7-5 loss in set number one to win 7-6 on tiebreaker 7-0 in set two before trailing 3-1 in the third set, while Lydia Chan and Grace Carpenter battled in set number three after a 6-3 split in the first two. You see Carpenter ends up getting the win 6-4, and UMass Boston is eliminated from the NCAA tournament. After a tremendous performance, they fall 5-2 to Colby Sawyer, and they'll prepare to defend their LEC title next season at the start of September.